Hi there, Nicolette here again with Inspired Living Feng Shui with your next tip on creating and enhancing love by looking at the feng shui of the master bedroom. So what's the hubaloo about the importance of having a headboard? Is this truth or fiction? So some people think that feng shui is based in superstition, but it's actually a 5,000 year old practice from China. And at the root of this practice is a truth based in energy and how that energy is triggering your nervous system. We've turned some of that superstition upside down with a lot of knowledge in the other videos, so please go check those out later for more information. For now, I have to say that one of the things I see quite often in my clients' bedrooms is a bed without a headboard. Take a look at this room. There are two nightstands, two lamps. That's a nicely balanced room, but there's no headboard. This is the bedroom of a beautiful adult woman in her late 40s. She has a good job, but not her dream career that fulfills her heart and soul, and she's single. I don't mean for this to sound harsh, but if you're over 21, it's time to have a headboard. Having a headboard is about growing up. This room energetically resonates more to a college kid instead of a mature, thriving, purposeful adult. Without a headboard, the ability to create mastery of our lives, which is represented by the master bedroom, is kind of leaking out all over the place. But with a headboard, you have the necessary backing and support to create a stable, happy, healthy marriage and career. And with that kind of support, you have the creative energy, courage, and stamina to get out into the world and live your life. So when we're sleeping, our heads are the most vulnerable, your crown chakra. And when I got my headboard, I could immediately feel the protection and the support that I was getting from that headboard. The left and right sides of the bed represent the masculine and feminine energy in you, as we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. And the headboard supports, protects, and embraces that energy within you and marries it together in partnership so you can individually and courageously come together into an intimate and intentional relationship. A solid wood headboard is the best because wood represents support and growth. A fabric headboard is also very good and you want to securely fasten it to the bed. I had one client who attached the headboard to the wall and then pushed the bed up to the wall and that's not really an accurate implementation of this cure. Try not to use metal or a headboard with slats. Metal is too cold and slick for a bedroom and for intimate connections. And a headboard with slats is just another energy leak around the head. Can you feel the difference here in this before and after? The room feels complete, finished. It's, it's ready for a couple to connect, to communicate, and to canoodle. So if what you're needing most of all right now is a little extra support in your career and in your relationships, I would get yourself a headboard. And please post a before and after picture on my Facebook page, Inspired Living Feng Shui, and let me know how you feel. It will be magical. I imagine you'll relax more easily, you'll rest more deeply, and you'll live your life more vibrantly. Wishing you a profound, safe, courageous love. And share this video with someone who may also want a profound, safe, and courageous love. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.